Hello, my name is Hans and today at Rimmer Brothers we're going to be fitting a new water pump and coolant to this 1965 Mark II Spitfire. First job is to remove this panel which will help give us access to uh, draining the coolant. So we'll remove these screws and remove this panel. Now we've removed the side panel we can see the lower radiator hose we're going to undo the lower radiator clip and we're going to drain the coolant into a washing up bowl that I've placed underneath. Next we need to remove the fan belt and the fan. Before we take it off we can actually see the play in the actual water pump bearing and this is the reason why we're removing the uh, pump. Four bolts at the front, 7 16th spanner and uh, I'm using a little ring spanner and we just need to crack them off while the belt is still on and then we can remove the belt and it'll make life so much easier. To slacken the fan belt we need to uh, just undo a little bit this pinch bolt which is the adjustment plate and there's a pivot bolt underneath which needs to be slackened. And once we've done that we can move the alternator forward as far as it'll go and pop the belt off. Now we've removed the belt we can undo the bolts at the front of the fan. Now the pump's out of the way we can see the three nuts that hold the pump on. We've got one there, one at the top and one right underneath. These were the half inch AF spanner open-ended and we can undo them fairly easily now. We've removed the two nuts off those two on this third one the actual nut is coming out with a stud. Now I can't actually remove it but it's loose and we'll have to sort that bit out later. Now the, we need to prise the pump away from the body and uh, you can see that stud's just holding on a little bit so last few threads and out it comes. As you can see we've got the water pump off and here's the stud and nut that we need to remove. First option I'm going to try threading two nuts on here, tightening them up together and then seeing if we can undo this one. So that's one nut on. We'll then tighten the two nuts together. Then holding the first nut see if this one here will crack off. Oh. It's fairly tight but she's coming off. Now we can remove the two nuts and have the stud and refit it back in the block. Before we replace this stud we're going to remove the old gasket and clean up the surface ready for the new one. Just using a, a scraper and clean up any gasket material or any rust or anything so it's nice and clean. We're now ready to fit the water pump. We've cleaned up the mating face and we can fit the gasket supplied in the pump. You can use sealant but I'm just going to put this dry because I'm pretty confident it will seal well. Before fitting the pump make sure there's a drain hole and that must face downwards so if anything leaks into the bearings it will not cause any problems and you'll know you've got a water leak. So noting this is the one that's fitted further down we can now fit the pump. Thank you. 
As you can see, we've refitted the three nuts, tightened them all up evenly, and now we're going to replace the fan belt. We just slip that over the bottom pulley, or the top one first, and then finally over the alternator pulley. Pull the alternator back, tighten up the pinch bolt and the pivot bolt at the bottom. Final job is to refit the radiator fan with these screws. Note the way that the bolts are placed and fit them into position and insert the bolts and tighten them up. We flushed through the radiator and cooling system and totally drained it of any water that's in there. Now we can add this special waterless coolant and uh, that will save any problems further on. So we're just going to add the coolant. Fit the radiator cap and then start the engine, warm it all up through, feel the hoses are getting nice and warm and make sure there's no air locks in the system. You may need to top up the radiator as well and when that's fully all topped up and should be okay for the following day.